We have um, the second of our two spotlight presentations here for you. And uh, this is actually uh, from Integral Ad Science. Um, we're thrilled to have Chris Catalano, who's the Senior Director of Global Agency Development at Integral Ad Science. Uh, he's got a, a, a short session here on cutting to contextual. And we're gonna learn about um, the evolution of contextual targeting. It's been around for a long time, uh, but we, we're gonna learn now why it's vital in programmatic buying. So. With that, um, I'm going to have uh, Chris take it away. Hello, and welcome to Integral Ad Sciences Cutting to Contextual. The goal of today's presentation is to lay the foundation for future discussions as we move towards a cookie-less world. Contextual targeting has captured the attention of digital power players, and nowhere has it been more important than programmatic buying. In this session, we're going to discuss contextual targeting, how it can help drive stronger product recall, favorability, and ultimately a more positive user experience. The question often comes up, well, why contextual targeting and why now? It seems like it's never been a hotter topic. And even though it's not necessarily new, it's become more and more top of mind for marketers as the deprecation of cookies becomes closer to being a reality. And even though Google has delayed the deprecation, it's still just an opportunity for marketers to take more time to develop a strategic approach for reaching the correct audience. And again, audience, it really comes back to the consumers. It starts there and it ends there. And consumers wanna have a positive online experience. In fact, nearly three quarters of consumers say that it's important for their ads to be personally relevant. Now imagine signing into your Spotify and every time you're going in, there are recommendations for songs that do not align whatsoever with your listening habits. The same can be said for digital advertisements. Consumers want relevancy. Additionally, more than half of consumers hold brands accountable for content that appears next to their ads, which really just increases the importance of overall brand suitability. And additionally, over half of consumers are also more likely to engage with ads found alongside high quality content. So as we mentioned, contextual targeting isn't new, but with its resurgence comes new and better technology. Now there are a plethora of options out there for marketers to utilize, and we're going to discuss Integral Ad Sciences context control solution, which is our contextual targeting solution. Now, the key difference here is that, you know, we're a dynamic technology and we're looking at page level analysis. So we're scoring the entire page, looking for relevant content curated across the web. And the, the dynamic element means that it's constantly being refreshed. We have over 200 industry vertical, seasonal, topical, and audience proxy segments, which we'll get into in more detail in a few minutes. And the biggest call out really is the accuracy. So, you know, marketers need to be confident that if they're, you know, utilizing a segment, that it's actually the type of content that they believe to be buying. And IAS's solution was found to be 42% more accurate as uh, commissioned a third party study by the Ozone Project. And then we're also taking into account through that page level scoring sentiment and emotion. So a deeper classification of content, which really helps advertisers tailor their messaging. And we're integrated with all the major global DSPs that programmatic traders are buying. So let's talk strategy. You know, it, it can definitely be overwhelming to really, you know, think about getting started and, and you know, not utilizing cookies in the way that for many years marketers have been. So we always say start with what you know, right? And start with and, and leverage what you already have at your disposal. So looking at a campaign brief, looking at, you know, the insights that you can glean from there. Uh, we're also, you know, big proponents of testing your options to so test and learn. So you wanna identify, you know, a number of segments that could be a potential interest to test based on the objectives that were outlined in the campaign brief. Now you can choose as many segments as you like. You always wanna keep scale in mind um, just because, you know, the, the more segments and the more relevant content to your consumer, the larger audience you can effectively reach. And then, you know, as you start to get more tactical, 
It can certainly be you know, applied across an entire campaign, but you can also go deeper and you can really strategize based on the different audiences you're looking to reach. Now, here's a great example of you know, a contextual strategy for a travel advertiser. Now, we mentioned that there are a number of different types of segments that IS offers, the seasonal, vertical, topical, and audience proxy. So when you're looking at a travel advertiser, you know, here's an example of an article that we are fully analyzing. And you can see that you know, you're able to really hit on each of these points without using cookies whatsoever. Um, so you're reaching you know, an audience that may be a casual traveler while also being able to tap into you know, the increase in remote working content that we've seen. Now let's see contextual targeting in action. We've gone through, you know, different strategies that you can start to implement. We've given examples. So now we're going to dive a little bit deeper. And as I mentioned, we have a number of different segments available. Industry vertical are definitely ones that are going to be specific to the advertiser. Um, so, you know, you want to obviously target auto content. If you are an auto advertiser, if you're a travel advertiser, you're looking to target travel content. Um, you can also, you know, delve a little bit further and, you know, think about what your standard target audience's in, interests are outside of your core vertical. Um, and again, we have over 100 of those readily available. And then they also include, you know, a brand safety element as well. So a, an auto segment is going to avoid negative content around car accidents or recalls for auto. And then we have, you know, another popular solution is our audience proxy. So especially with the deprecation of cookies, uh, these are really meant to be an extension of, you know, what an audience is interested in or maybe a specific life stage that they're in. Um, they're going to be related to topics and, you know, focused on content that the consumer cares about. So someone like an expecting mother is not going to just be looking at pregnancy articles. They're going to be looking at everything from daycare to early childhood education options. So these really encompass everything that that desired target audience would be interested in. And then we also have tactical targeting. Uh, so, you know, topical segments, we mentioned remote working, we have diversity inclusion segments. These are all examples of marketers being able to really take advantage of the explosion of a lot of um, these content categories. And then seasonal, also very popular, especially, you know, if a marketer is looking to align to specific tent poles um, or different celebrations. Um, so these are all different ways that you can utilize contextual targeting to reach your audience relevantly. Now let's talk about results. Uh, so we've, you know, we've gone through the technology, we've gone through the different ways that you can develop a strategy. And the great thing is when we see these segments in action, we see results. Um, so this is an example of a technology B2B brand. They used our segments and they saw, you know, a 120% increase in click-through rate, but that wasn't it. Um, so they also were looking to increase their landing page visits. So what we were able to determine is that 60% of all landing page visits accounted for only 30% of spend, which means they're getting a much more efficient buy when the content that they're appearing in is more relevant to their consumer. So a few key takeaways, obviously third-party cookie deprecation, even though it's been delayed, it's still going to continue to shape the future of digital. And without cookies, we're going to need to continue to pivot towards evolving tech like contextual targeting. Really now is the time to begin exploring how to expand those strategies and really dive a little bit deeper into contextual. And then closing, really the precise understanding of content is truly critical if you wanna connect with your audience. You wanna make sure that where you're running is where you think you're running. And that's able to be done by using a technology partner such as Integral Ad Science. I wanna thank you all for taking the time to join us today. If you have any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. My email is here. Again, have a great day and enjoy the rest of the conference.